Today I'm going to show you 15 tips and tricks in under 5 minutes for the iPad Pro 2018 and later models. Let's get started. So the first trick I have for you is taking a screenshot with your Apple Pencil. To do this, all you have to do is swipe up diagonally from the bottom left corner. This next trick also has to do with the Apple Pencil. If you want to take a quick note and don't want to go through the trouble of completely unlocking your iPad and opening the Notes app, simply tap the iPad screen with the tip of your Apple Pencil and start taking notes from there. Though it may seem mundane to most of you, here are some basic gestures to use when navigating your iPad Pro. Swipe down from the top left three-fourths of the screen for Notification Center. Swipe down from the top right one-fourth for Control Center. If you're on the home screen, swipe down in the middle of the screen for Spotlight Search. Swipe up from the bottom slowly to open the dock. Swipe up, hold, and release for the App Switcher or App Manager. When in an app, swipe up completely to go to the home screen. A few more of my favorites include swiping between apps with four fingers in the center of the screen, or using the home bar at the bottom, swiping between pages with one finger, and closing an app with a five finger pinch. If you'd like someone else to be able to use your iPad Pro, simply have them add a scan of their face in the Face ID section of the Settings app. Obviously, only do this with people you trust, because once their face scan is saved, they can unlock your iPad and access everything you have Face ID enabled for, including banking apps, social media, and other apps. Maybe in the future, Apple will create a multiple user interface for iPadOS like they have for macOS, but for now, proceed with caution. If you're running a more recent version of iPadOS, you can enable Today View, which is handy for seeing a lot of apps and data at a glance on the home screen. For a less cluttered look, simply swipe down on the list until you get to the top and swipe again to make the apps at the bottom disappear. To disable Today View, you can go into Settings or just swipe all the way to the bottom, click Edit, switch the toggle, and click Done. This next trick involves utilizing the iPad Pro's massive battery. You can charge your iPhone, Apple Watch, or almost any other accessory using the USB-C port at the bottom of the iPad Pro. Also related to charging, if you have a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, you can actually use its charging brick to charge up your iPad even faster. Although I don't use this trick very often, Apple has a relatively new feature that allows you to copy and paste with three finger gestures. Highlight the content you want to copy, pinch inward to copy, navigate to where you want to paste it, then pinch outward with three fingers. One trick that I do use pretty frequently, however, is unlocking my iPad by double tapping the spacebar. If your iPad is asleep but standing open, you can double tap the spacebar on the keyboard cover and it will wake up, scan your face, and unlock instantly. Many apps, such as Notes, Safari, and even other third-party apps, have many keyboard shortcuts that you may not know about. To view them all in one place, simply open the app, then hold down the command key on your keyboard. This next tip is one I use a lot especially when I don't have my keyboard cover connected. If you're typing fast and don't want to lose a beat, simply swipe down on numeric keys to access special characters. This may seem like it's saving you a minuscule amount of time, but I find it very useful when I'm typing on the screen and need to save those extra milliseconds. Although this feature isn't exclusive to the iPad Pro, it's still super handy. If you've scrolled to the bottom of an article or page and don't want to scroll all the way back to the top, you can usually tap the bar at the very top and it will snap to the top of the page for you. The next tip I have for you is how to drag and drop between apps. To do this, either have two apps open side by side or have one app floating over another. Simply highlight an image or text you want to copy, press on it gently for a moment, then drag it to the other location and drop it. Another trick that isn't necessarily an iPad Pro exclusive but is still super useful is using the on-screen keyboard as a trackpad. Hold down on the spacebar with one finger or anywhere on the keyboard with two fingers, then travel around the page like a cursor and drop off where you need to. My last tip for you is to customize Control Center to increase your productivity. To do this, open Settings, Control Center, then Customize Controls. You can add widgets like Notes, a Dark Mode toggle, and a QR Scanner button, all to be accessible at your fingertips. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I put a lot of work and time into this and it would really mean a lot to me. Also subscribe and click that tech notification bell if you'd like to see more content like this. Until the next video, bye guys.